Hello everyone, uh, in this video I will show you how it looks like uh, processes inside air handling unit um, which main function is to provide a specific uh, temperature of 24 Celsius degrees and relative humidity of uh, 55% uh, in some uh, room. Um, as you can see, uh, this is uh, some air handling uni unit which is consists of uh, heat recovery section, uh, mixing chamber, cooling coil and uh, heating coil. Uh, I created this presentation um, using the EX chart program, uh, which is some kind of psychrometric, uh, psychrometric chart and one of the built-in uh, tool calculator of air handling uh, unit. Uh, so, uh, in the first step, from point Z to point uh, R, uh, the fresh air is taken by uh, air intake uh, in an amount uh, equal to the uh, mixing uh, ratio. In this case, 15%. Um, the air flow through the heat recovery, uh, heat recovery section, where in the summer season uh, it recovers heat uh, in the form of uh, cooling, of course. Um, in this case, I assumed uh, a recovery efficiency of uh, heat uh, recovery section at level 73%. Uh, the process is vertical uh, because um, it involves only uh, sensible heat uh, exchange without, void, without moisture. We have here a constant value of the uh, moisture, uh, 12 uh, uh, gram per uh, kilogram. Um, in the next uh, step, uh, the air flows through the mixing uh, chamber from point uh, v to point M and from point R to point M. Um, localization uh, of this point uh, M uh, is depend on the mixing uh, ratio and generally the mixing chamber is uh, an empty section with uh, two dampers uh, and the ratio of mixing depends, um, depends uh, on uh, their settings. Here, here I assume uh, 50% as I said before, uh, but in other cases it could be a different uh, number as well. Uh, in general the mixing chamber can be applied if the amount of air which is uh, resulting from heat and moisture balance is greater than the amount, amount of air needed for hygienic purposes and uh, if there <coughs> is no emission uh, of harmful or pathogenic substances in the room. Uh, from an, an energy uh, point of view, the mixing chamber can be used if the enthalpy of the air after mixing uh, is lower than the enthalpy of uh, outside air after passing through the heat recovery unit, uh, if it exists, of course. Uh, here, uh, after mixing, we have enthalpy of 50, uh, 53 uh, kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin, um, and the air, uh, fresh air uh, is uh, 56 uh, kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin, uh, so it making uh, mixing uh, as economically, economically uh, possible and reasonable. So, uh, in the mixing chamber we uh, combine uh, half of the fresh air uh, from the half, with the half of the uh, air uh, from the room. Mm. So, and we uh, and the result is, is point uh, M. Then flow through the uh, air cooling um, section from point uh, M to point CH, where it is cooled and moisture is re removed uh, from the air. Uh, the deeper we uh, cool the air in the coil, the more mo moisture we will uh, condense and remove from the air. Uh, then, uh, after the deep cooling, uh, to avoid uh, supplying uh, air at such low temperature uh, that could lead to uh, discomfort in the room and an ability, inability to uh, maintain the required uh, relative humidity, we, we have to heat this air. Uh, we achieve this uh, in uh, heating section. Uh, as, uh, See, uh, heating also occurs uh, among a vertical straight line from point uh, H, uh, CH to, to N 
um, and this indicating that uh, we exchange only sensible heat without moisture. And uh, prepared air in this way uh, is supplied to the supply to the room from point N to the point W. Uh, for example, by the swirl diffusers, uh, the path uh, of this process uh, into the room uh, depends on the total uh, heat and moisture balance calculated generally by the uh, HVAC designers. Uh, in this case, we, uh, we removed uh, from this uh, room uh, 46.7 uh, kilowatts uh, total heat, uh, 23.5 uh, kilowatt sensible heat, and uh, 32.2 uh, ki uh, kilograms uh, of moisture. Mm. And uh, as you can see, in this way we achieved our required parameters uh, in the room uh, 24 uh, Celsius degrees and 55% uh, of relative humidity. And what, what I can say, um, that is generally all for this presentation. I hope uh, I have clarified how uh, this works in practice. Uh, Feel free to subscribe uh, to my channel and leave comments uh, below. Uh, in the next uh, video, I will um, I will try to present um, the, pr the the processes for winter uh, in a similar way. Uh, thank you for your time and attention, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.